So, we just came from UFC Fight Night. Although, the better, more hyped event comes from PFL. We had Francis Ngannou come back against the big Brazilian Henan Ferreira. Now, I'm worse than Chael Sonnen pronouncing these Brazilian names. So, bear with me here. Now, this fight was a welcome break from all the World War Three news going on. If North Korea invading Europe interrupts UFC 308 coming up uh, next week, I'm going to be mad. At that point, booking Kamzat Chimaev is a curse. Akin to when booking Khabib vs Tony literally started the pandemic. But back to it. Me and many others had this copium that Henan would give Nganu a great bout. He KO'd Ryan Bader with ease the fight before. And Maurice Green, who did win tough, and that tough did include Michael Batista, who was a legit Cuban wrestler, who wrestled Daniel Cormier, even. Bronze medal in the Olympics, gold in the Pan American Games, but he was old and seemed unmotivated in MMA. He looked chubby and gassed hard, but still, that's a legit opponent. So if you're getting rid of these type of guys with absolute ease, it gives you hope PFL had some top heavyweights. But I want to point you with what Tom Aspinall said that gave me second thoughts. I quote, PFL has no elite heavyweights. Henan Ferreira is an elite. My training partner, Ante Deliha, took him down and pounded him out with ease. Which, you know, Francis literally just took Renan down and pounded him out with ease also. Tom being a training partner with Ante Deliha, he knows the level. Now, I'm not sure if Tom is also shading Ante. Maybe he did that by accident, or he's saying Ante is the only like guy there. Because after Ferreira, Ante Deliha is the only heavyweight who people will believe in. After that, you've only got legend matchups like Ryan Bader. Henan Ferreira looking like an absolute world beater at the top level of PFL and losing that badly, it proves none of them are elite. The absolute best thing for PFL is like with 1FC, where Demetrius Johnson got KO'd, Eddie Alvarez got KO'd, Sage Northcutt got KO'd. Suddenly, people looked at 1FC like they had elite fighters. If Nganu had got caught with a big punch and KO'd, it would have made people so much more interested in PFL. But after this, I fear Francis is going into the read what happened the day after on Twitter territory. They need someone who can beat Nganu. They need to force him into a quick turnaround, really, while he's got people's attention still. Really, PFL could compete with the UFC if they do the events like this one where it's competing with a Apex fluff card. They put on cards with named fighters at this time, but I wonder how many fans are going to go. There's no exciting matchups on UFC. And PFL are guys fighting cans. I'll just watch some highlights on Reddit or Twitter or something. I hope the UFC gets some real competition. The UFC has become too complacent. 
with promotion, with fighter pay, everything. But it's looking like 1FC is going out of business on the MMA side and PFL has no elite fighters really. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be glad to read them. I'm out.